Hey guys, in this Elements of Literature video, I'll be talking about plot. Now, I am sure you have seen this diagram before. It's taught fifth grade, again in sixth, sixth grade, again in seventh and eighth and ninth and tenth. It's taught every year. And it's known as Freitag's Pyramid. The guy who invented it, Gustav Freitag, in 1968, called it by his last name. But I don't think it's ever really taught correctly. We learn all the names of the pieces and we kind of know what they do, but it does so much more when you analyze it correctly. So let's break it down. The first part is exposition. Now I am sure that you know that it introduces the setting and the characters. And you are correct, but it is so much more than this. I want you to look at the root word of exposition. What do you think the root word is? Well, if you said expose, you'd be correct. So what does expose mean? Well, it means to shine a light on something, can reveal something, but not in a positive way. It's to highlight their flaws. The exposition highlights and reveals the protagonist's flaws and imperfections. So let's consider the Lion King. We've got our protagonist, Simba, and he's told by Mufasa, don't go over there, it's dangerous. Do not go over to that elephant graveyard. Don't be an idiot. What does Simba do? He disobeys that order. He disobeys a rule that's there to keep him safe and he brings his little girlfriend with him. They both end up in trouble and dad has to come and save the day. Now, Simba's floor is being exposed here. Simba is irresponsible. This is his problem. This is the job of the exposition, to expose this floor. Next, the pyramid has to go up. If it doesn't, it's just a list. For instance, I wake up, I have a coffee, I, get, uh, I have a shower and get dressed, I go to work, I come home from work, I read, I work out, I do some work, I watch some TV, I have dinner, I go to bed. That's just a list of events. It's a straight line. For it to go up, something has to happen. Now, this normal everyday life is called the status quo, normality. Me doing this every day, status quo. But something happens to cause the pyramid to shoot up. What changes the status quo? What event changes normal life? Well, in The Lion King, obviously that would be Scar killing Mufasa. It changes the status quo. Everything's all good. Simba's running around being a bit irresponsible. But Mufasa's a good king. This is the normal status quo. As soon as Scar disrupts that and changes that, we have our inciting incident or call to action. Next, action continues to rise. In The Lion King, Simba runs off and he meets Timon and Pumbaa. And they have this motto, Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata means no worries. Don't worry about it, mate. It's not your problem. It's not your responsibility. Can you see a theme developing here through the exposure of Simba's floor? We can see themes developing. Meanwhile, Scar is ruling Pride Brock, but he lets all the hyenas eat all the food. I might describe this as irresponsible. He's an irresponsible king. And then another point of the rising action. Nala comes and finds Simba, all grown up. And she says to him, Simba, you've got to come back, mate. You've got to take your place as king. You have to defeat Scar. You have to come back to Pride Rock. Essentially, you have to be responsible. Again, through the analysis of plot, we're able to identify this theme. The turning point. This is the moment where the hero or the protagonist has either fixed their flaw and can tackle the thing that changed the status quo head on, or the flaw is not fixed and the thing that changes everything might fix them and kill them. But in the case of The Lion King, it's a happy story. So Simba returns, 
He is responsible at this point. He comes back, he takes responsibility, and he fights Scar. Again, Scar is the person who changed the status quo. He fights him. And after this, we can return to a new status quo. The new status quo is known as the denouement. So, by Simba being responsible, coming back, fighting Scar, he ends up getting married, being king, and having a baby. This is ultra responsible. Based on that, what's the theme? Responsibility. Now, I wonder, would you have found this theme if you didn't analyse the plot? When analysing the plot, remember, exposition. It's not just introducing the setting and the characters. What is the flaw of the protagonist? What is being exposed? And what is the status quo, the normal life? The inciting incident or the call to action. What event changes the status quo? Rising action. What events cause the protagonist to develop or perhaps not develop? The turning point. How does the protagonist respond to these new events? Has their flaw improved in order to overcome and challenge the incident which changed the status quo? Or does this beat them and the new status quo is possibly without them in it? For instance, if they don't change, maybe the thing that uh, called them to action beats them and kills them and the new status quo doesn't have them in it. The denouement, then, is just what is the new status quo. This doesn't even necessarily have to be written in a story. It can be inferred. It is what will the new normal look like.